I'm Angela Birdsong, your conversation piece host on Radio Justice LA Morning Wake Up Call. And on Tuesday, August 21st, we will have Ashanti Daniel, who is a ME warrior. Tell us what ME is. ME stands for myalgic encephalomyelitis, and it's commonly known as chronic fatigue syndrome, but those of us who are ME warriors prefer to refer to it as ME because chronic fatigue syndrome trivializes the illness. And on Tuesday's show, we're gonna hear Ashanti's story, how she went from being a physically strong, mentally capable woman who was a neonatal intensive care unit nurse working long hours and then all of a sudden got this lung infection and had to go on this nine month journey to find out what was wrong with her. The medical doctors told her that it was all in her head. They thought it was her asthma. They thought everything except for what it actually was. And that's what we're gonna talk about on, on Tuesday. Now, Ashanti, what did you have to do to prepare to, to, to come and get interviewed? Um, let's see, with this illness, there really is no preparation per se because <clears throat> it's so unpredictable. For example, all this week I did nothing. I basically was in my bed every day and I know that that will at least give me the best chance of being able to make it today, but it wasn't guaranteed because I can do all of that, not do anything, and then wake up today and feel horrible and unable to make it. So I miss a lot of events because of this illness and how unpredictable it really is. And what's gonna to happen to you when you leave today? I am going to have post-exertional malaise that comes with this illness. It's one of the classic signs and what that is is a worsening of symptoms after any activity. So for me, the activity is was getting out of my house, coming here, being driven here because I can't drive anymore and I'm pushed in, I, I sit in a wheelchair and that activity is going to make me be bedridden for I don't know how long. It could be days, weeks, months, or even permanently, but I doubt that this activity will cause a permanent change, but it's always a risk. Wow, it's almost like we may, you know, feel like maybe we shouldn't even have done the show here. Maybe I should have come to you, huh? No. No. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. And okay. then your friend Anna is the person who, who drove, drove you guys for nursing school yes. mates. Yes. yes. And do you have anything to add to? Um, I'm just glad that we have this opportunity to bring awareness to this condition. A lot of people haven't heard of it or they hear chronic fatigue and they say, oh, you're just lazy. Oh, you just don't want to work. Oh, you just don't want to do this. It's not that at all. I saw my best friend of 10 years go from superwoman to bedridden and wheelchair bound in the blink of an eye. And it's something very seriously and something that needs to be brought into the public awareness. And as I said, I'm just glad that Angela gave us this opportunity to do so. All right, to God be the glory on that. So make sure you tune in on Tuesday, August 21st at 8 a.m. and again at 12 p.m. on Pacific Time on RadioJustice.org to hear more about Ashanti Daniel's story. It's a wrap.